Hi, I'm Stephen Tallamy from EditShare. Let's look at collaboration using the Flow integration for DaVinci Resolve. Our new integration takes advantage of the features of DaVinci Resolve 17 to bring the power of Flow right into the Resolve experience. We can browse media, we can search, and we can find assets to bring into Resolve. Right now, I'm in the middle of an edit and I have a rough cut I want to get reviewed. So, what I'm going to do is quickly upload this to Flow. The media is locally rendered and uploaded to the Flow system. With that uploaded, let's switch to a remote user using our Airflow web interface. Here we can see the sequence I just created and I can add some markers for review comments. With that done, let's switch back to the editor in Resolve. We can go to the Review tab, look at my previous cut and I can see the same markers below. I can see I have a comment to start later and add content to represent the mother. Let's go and find that clip now. Here's a suitable clip. I can preview it. See there are some markers and import it into Resolve. I can now choose how I want to access this content. As I have the storage mounted, I'm going to bring in both the high resolution material and the proxy versions. With the proxy support in Resolve 17, I can take advantage of a lighter weight workflow with the ability to view the high resolution whenever I want. We can see that the markers and the media has imported into Resolve. Let's add it to the sequence. I want to go a little before this sip and a little bit after. Let's also shorten the sequence. And now I'm ready to upload my second version. There's loads more you can do with the Flow integration for DaVinci Resolve 17, but hopefully this has given you an idea of some of the workflows available.